All right, everybody, today we're gonna to be opening up the Luard Premium Deck Set. I'm actually really excited for this one because it is the premium edition for a Keter Sanctuary Stride Deck. And as you may or may not know, I very much focus on the Keter Sanctuary uh, Nation. And so this is gonna be a fun one for me. So I'm actually really excited to show you guys what comes in a premium deck set. So without further ado, we're just gonna go ahead and jump right into this. But before we jump into it, uh, I just wanna say a quick shout out to 50 Cards for sponsoring this video. So if you haven't heard of 50 Cards, it's an online website where you can pick up all your Vanguard and Shadowverse cards. You can also pick up playmats, deck boxes, bundles, so that includes nation bundles, pick up play sets of every card you need for a specific nation, and the same for classes for Shadowverse. You can also get an additional 5% off when you use code Nexus at checkout as well. So without further ado, we're just gonna go ahead and uh, break this open and I'll show you guys what's inside. All right, we got our Luarch Stride Deck Set Premium Edition box. So it's got some pretty cool stuff around the edges as well. So it's showing the Keter and the Shadow Paladin symbols. Uh, Keter Sanctuary, Shadow Paladin on the other side. Uh, the contents, it, it, I don't think it says anything about the contents on here, but you know, it's probably got all that information somewhere inside here. So let's just go ahead and rip this one open. Got my box cutter here. Nice little cut. Peeling that off. Got nice little tears there. Oh, look how nice that looks. So this is supposed to double up as a storage box as well. So if you wanna put other, you know, decks in here, you can kind of carry this around or keep this for collect, you know, collections or to store all your extras. So that's probably what I'm gonna end up doing, but look at that. So it comes with sleeves, the deck, a kind of faux leather deck box and a play mat as well. So actually, you know, maybe we'll just use this play mat for the rest of the video. So I'm just gonna go ahead and pull this out real quick. Got the mat out and it's got some bubble wrap in there too. We got our Luard play mat. That looks pretty nice. Let me just go ahead and kind of set it up for a sec so you guys can see. So this is what the Luard play mat looks like. All fleshed out, got the new artwork. It says Luard, it's got the symbols here. Vanguard as well located there. So going right back into the contents of this, it comes with a pack of sleeves as well. So this is similar to the regular deck set, which comes with a pack of sleeves, and it comes with the deck, the main deck. All the cards in the main deck also are foiled, which is really nice. The G-Zone has some really nice foiling on it as well, which we'll get into a little bit for the deck, but it also comes with these kind of top, like custom top loaders. So you can put certain cards into these. It's got the Shadow Paladin, symbol on there. So we'll go ahead and we'll break these open too. And for the deck box, which also looks amazing, man, look at that. That Luard, full body art Luard deck box. How cool is that? And it's got Luard on the back. It's got this nice little gradient here for the Vanguard crit symbol and Vanguard logo on the bottom. This is a really, really nice box. Let me actually just tear right into this one. So this is like a faux leather box, you know, kind of feels a little more plasticky than anything, but I got a little stick there for mag the magnet, I'm assuming. Oh, that is a really good magnet. So it's gonna hold the whole deck and that's gonna hold it double sleeved as well, which is gonna be really helpful because you got a 50 card main deck on top of your ride deck and your eight card G zone. So not to mention your crest, and eventually your energy counter. So that's all gonna fit in here pretty nicely. And you know, if you single sleeve, you're good, good and clear. And then if you double sleeve, this should also fit as well, which we can get into maybe in a little bit. So that's pretty much the contents of the Stride Deck Set box. So we're just gonna go ahead and kind of open these up as well. I'm just gonna get the box out of the way. I'm gonna do a little zoom here. So I'm just gonna go ahead and open the top loaders. You guys, you guys can see what's in this as well. There you go, I just needed to peel that open. So it comes with the Luar top loader, it comes with Leofel, uh, the Knees grade one, and Root the starter, and then the clan symbol as well. So these are really cool, uh, little collector items. Uh, and they got their silhouettes on the 
other side as well. So this is just nice to have. If you're like a big time Luard devout Shadow Paladin fan, these are, these are nice. And then the main event, which is the main deck. And we'll go ahead and open that up right now. Pop that open, slide that off. And I'm gonna kind of just fan it out. Look at that, the whole thing. It's all shiny, except for the triggers, but it still looks really good. Starting off, we obviously got our main ride, which is Dragheart Luard. It's got the ritual ability where at the beginning of your ride phase, you can put normal units back into your deck to pay the cost uh, of stride for free. So you don't have to pay a cost when you stride into a G unit. It also has when your G unit strides, you can't lose one, retire a rear guard, search your deck for two grade ones, call them to rear. It's just like the old uh, trial deck Luard. So we do get a full play set of that. So that's really nice. And they all come in the same foiling. Then we get our grade two, Leofail. It's foiled just like it is in the regular one, but this foiling looks like it's like extra shattery. We got knees, which gets your marker and root, uh, which is our starter. And then we get into the rest of the main deck. I believe we get a full play set of these, uh, but in the main deck, it's still back when it was 46 cards. So there's gonna be three in the front. So we got our three uh, Solemn Clout Dragons, which give you an extra 10K when you're at Ritual Three, I believe, yeah. And then when you discard this for stride, you can draw a card for the cost. A very low chance that you're gonna be doing that just because the cost of stride is free. So you're pretty much using this just for the, you know, the 10K, but if you don't have enough grade ones in your drop, you can use this for stride. Then for grade twos, it comes with four copies of Morfessa, and the new Morfessa uh, counts as a grade one in the drop. And Ritual Three, when it attacks, if you have a Vanguard with Drag, if you have a Drag Heart Lord Crest, this gets 5K. And if your G Zone has two or more face up cards, you can counter blast to search your deck for up to one card with the Ritual ability, different from this card's name, and call it to rear. So that includes. Uh, cards like Solemn Cloud. So you can actually just call a really big beater because it has the ritual ability, which is nice. So you get a full play set of that for multi-attacking. Then for going into the rest, because you don't need, all you need is grade ones for this deck. We got four of our Ezra's PGs. Look how shiny those are. This is the new PG. So kind of like the D series one, where if you have one or less cards in hand, you don't need to discard for the cost. And it's also a Shadow Paladin. So that means that when you use cards like Dearmwood, which can grab a card from your drop zone, if it's the same clan as your Vanguard and put it back into your hand, you can use Ezra's to bounce, you know, you can get used Dearmwood to add Ezra's back to your hand from the drop. This is also just gonna be really good if you're a Phantom Blaster Overlord player and you wanna run Dearmwood and Shadow Paladin PGs, you can do that as well. So this is a nice addition to standard. Then we have four of our Abyssal Owls Look at that, all shiny. So Abyssal Owl is kind of like a stride fodder, except it doesn't help you pay the cost for stride. It still lets you search Luard in the deck, but it also has a drop zone where Ritual 3, at the end of your turn, if your Vanguard's Luard, you can bind two cards with the same name as this card from your drop. So you're able to just, you know, bind this and another copy of itself to counter charge one. So it can still be helpful. It does suck that you're binding it. So you lose grade ones in the deck or in the drop zone for the ritual cost but the counter charge can be helpful. But you do get a full play set of that. Then for other new cards, uh, we got Semius. So Semius uh, gets an additional 2K if you have a Luard Crest, so 10K beater or booster. When it's placed on rear, other than during the battle phase, if you have Vanguard Luard, look at the top two cards, choose up to one from among them, call it to rear, you put the rest in the bottom of your deck. At the end of the turn, you retire the unit called by this effect. So you're pretty much gonna retire it for your drag strider cost. That way, you know, you're, it's gonna get retired anyways, but it's to help build a board and it's searchable with Luard's stride skill. So you get a play set of that. And then you also have Preservation Angel, which is like your little shield card. So at Ritual 3, it gets 5K shield and intercept. So that way you can have it in the front row if you wanna keep it there or just have it in your hand, you know, just a little extra 10K shield. Can't go wrong with that. A full play set of that, I believe, yep. And then we got a playset of Luminosity Wizard. So Luminosity Wizard is Ritual 3. When it's placed on rear during your turn, you can have this unit get 10K, which is really, really good. Then it also has, when it's retired from the rear guard circle during your turn, you can Soul Charge one and choose your vanguards and give it 5K. So that's helped to make stri drag strider even bigger 
So, you know, the whole goal is to go into Drag Strider and just beat your opponent with crits. So this card helps with that. Then going into the triggers. So all the triggers are unfortunately common. So no foiling there, but it comes with an Armand to Noah and it comes with four crit, three draw, four front, and then four heal. And all of these artworks are actually the same ones from the festival booster. So that's, I kind of like that they're using the festival booster art. Obviously you're probably gonna switch out the Armand to Noah for the blue OT, just so you can give your Vanguard an additional crit just to make Drag Strider even scarier. Um, but it's still nice that they can give Armand to Noah uh, just to kind of get your get the ball rolling. If you're new to Vanguard and you want to get into a really competitive field, the Shirinui and Luard deck sets are really good to pick up and get started. They're just ready to go right off the bat, tournament ready. And then going into the G zone, look how pretty these are. I'm gonna pull those G units aside. We're gonna start with our Drag Strider Luard. <laughs> look how foiled that is. You can barely read the cards. Uh, so Drag Strider, when you stride into it, you would normally have to discard a grade three of Luard to stride into it. But because of Luard's ritual ability, you can actually get around the cost because through Luard's ritual, you do not have to pay the cost for stride and therefore you can just stride into this for essentially for free. So Drag Strider is GB2, ritual seven. So seven grade ones in the drop. When this attacks, if you have five or more units with the ritual ability, at the end of the battle, this gets, until the end of the battle, this gets 10K and extra crit. And then you can retire two rear guards, discard a grade three card with Luard in its name. This gets an additional drive and your opponent cannot guard a grade one or greater units, meaning they cannot use perfect guards. So it's to swing, get a bunch of power. You're going to have a bunch of crits in your deck and then swing and then boom, crit, crit, game, you know, that's it. <laughs> so that's kind of the goal of the deck is to beat your opponent with some guard restrict. Uh, the other G unit is our drag driver Luard which also came fully foiled. That looks really nice. The skill is ritual when it attacks. You can counterblast one, turn a card in your G zone face up, search your deck for up to one card with the ritual ability, call to rear guard, shuffle. So it's really simple. It's just to like kind of get an extra attack. So you can use this to maybe search out more Fessa if you wanted to get even more multi attack. So it's a good you know start for the toolbox uh, just to get it going. And then you go into drag strider as your finisher. But Man, that foiling is insane. You can barely see the, the triple drive marker in the corner. These are hella shiny. And then lastly, we do have our crest. So this is the crest for Luard. Uh, it says that you can only ride Luard cards. Your grade three Luard Vanguard is gonna be a 13K base. And for each face-up card in your G zone, your front row is gonna get an additional 5K for each card. And then its auto ability is at the end of your turn, if you strode without paying the cost this turn, you can choose a crit from your drop and put it at the bottom of your deck. So you can refill your deck with used crits so that when you go into drag driver, you're just critting your opponent for game. It's kind of reminiscent of uh, Belial from the old G era where it would put its, it's a crit that would put itself back into the deck at the end of your turn. So there's a little bit of a nostalgia with that as well. And then we have like a kind of shinier crest so it's got a it's got an extra bit of foiling on it, which is really nice. So I don't know if you guys this is the regular shatter shatter foiling, and then it has this like extra like embossing to it, which looks really really nice as well. And then we get our extra copies of Leofail and our Song Clouds. This way, you can still have a 54 card deck so that it's tournament legal. But before when it was 46, main deck, now it's 50. You have these extra cards to make up for that. But that's pretty much it for the unboxing. The deck looks like it's gonna be a lot of fun. This is a really competitive, viable meta deck right now. And it's gonna be viable through Divines. It's gonna be a decent like tier one, maybe tier two-ish around Divines meta. Uh, but Shiranui and this deck are gonna be dominating the meta for a few months until we get to Divines. So if you're interested in getting into Vanguard or if you're interested in picking up an old Luard deck because Luard was your guy, this deck is gonna be really good. It's gonna be a lot of fun. Very, very simple mechanic. It's just 
toolboxing, board building, and then drag strider for game, whereas opposed to Shiranui being more about multi-attack and dominating your opponent's units. So I can't wait to put this all together and show you guys like an updated version of this deck so you guys can see like, you know, if you want to make it a little more optimal, what you could do. But right out the gate, this deck is really, really good. You could play this deck just as is, just throw those sleeves that come with, with it on it. You have your deck box ready to go. You're pretty much ready to start playing competitive Vanguard the minute you pick up this set. So thank you guys for watching the unboxing. Hoping that we can show you guys some gameplay with the Shiranui and Luard decks in the near future. Um, I'm planning on building both decks anyways. So you guys will be seeing some updated content in the near future for both of these decks. So stay tuned for that. Also, don't forget to check out 50 cards for their Vanguard products, their bundles, and for all your Divine stuff, whatever you need to pick up for the Divine's booster set that's coming out for set one and set two. You can pick those up on 50 cards and get an extra 5% off when you use code Nexus as well. So that's it for me. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye.